Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer and welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to tell you guys what way is and what kind of town it is in Oblivion. Now in Oblivion, there are many many towns on the map, but way is a specific one that can sometimes be hidden from the naked eye. Way is a town right outside the big large gate of the Imperial City, the big large bridge and gate and everything like that. Like it's literally directly outside. And fun fact, I learned this from I believe the unofficial Elder Scroll pages. Yeah, the guard that patrols around that area stays in the Wayward Inn a lot. And we're actually going to talk about that too. So Way is a town, it's got like three or four buildings, and it's home to the Wayward Inn. So the, the, what's interesting is Way has the Wayward Inn in it, but they're two symbols. Like literally the symbols is like Way, and then like Wayward Inn symbol right like that or something like that. So they're right on each other. It's actually hard to fast travel directly to Way. You fast travel to the Wayward Inn, which is literally next door to Way. So, um, it's home to two quests. One is one of the worst quests in the game, and one is, I think, my one of my favorite quests in the game. So, the worst quest is you gotta hunt down 12 slaughterfish. It's so stupid. The story behind it is actually pretty cool. Is a guy was gonna retire because a mage needed slaughterfish skins or scales, and he was a fisherman. And he had an injury and couldn't do it anymore, and he only needed 12 more scales. So you gotta go get those scales for him. Problem is, your reward is just this dumb ring that does water breathing and athletics buff. And it's you have to go hunt slaughterfish. It takes forever. It, it's basically your reward's like 500 gold, because you sell the ring. Now the other quest is you have to collect six bottles of Shano Banished Wine. And it's a special wine that only spawns inside of forts. So you go raid a bunch of forts, you get six bottles, you give it to this lady, she gives you a thousand gold, and then every bottle you bring her is 200 gold, because she's a wine collector. I believe her store is actually stocked with every base wine in the game. Last I, ch last I remembered, she she's always has a lot of wine for sale. So, Shadow Banish Wine is a very interesting wine. It has normal effects of wine, except it has Night Eye, instead of, um, I think... I think it's a like added to everything else, um, but the story behind it is the soldiers in the forts back in the days would use it to stay warm and also see at night. So that was the concept: was instead of having torches everywhere or using magic, they just used this alcohol that let them see at night. It was pretty interesting, and so this wine that's unique to fort spawns, you find for this lady, and then you give it to her. So that's really. All that is to this town, that's all there is to it, is way. I like it. It's um, one. It's my second favorite town. My favorite town, actually no, I would say fourth favorite. My third favorite is the invisibility people, and my second favorite is the town where there's like the family feuds going on. My first favorite is Cropsford. So, and we'll get to those in later episodes. But guys, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed, you can tell me in the comments below. Again, what is your favorite? That was the spots you can find on the map. What is your favorite spot on the map? Let me know in the comments below. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games. And I'll see you in the next episode, stream, or vlog of whatever I decide to make.